Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. It is a beautiful sunny day. Evie and I went to our neighborhood park by Santa Monica Beach this morning for our morning workout. It is my day off from teaching this week and although it is super sunny now the sun has shifted and it's a little windy but still warm enough to be out here with the bikini. I thought it'd be really fun today to share a handful of babies that may have maybe not been in Pot of Fame recently or at all so I hope you guys enjoy a handful of babies that did really great for the month of February I guess since I've been back from my trip and there's a lot of cool things happening in the collection right now now that weather is warming up uh, it is very plant friendly weather here in Southern California. Also, I think it'd be very fun to see in the comments uh, Where are you currently watching from and wherever you are? Is it plant friendly weather right now? Or are you stuck in the cold watching me sit and talk about plant life in a bikini? The first baby that I want to talk about is my variegated crocodile aloe This is one of my prized hardier babies because I don't have much aloes in my collection and on top of that where I'm from in my part of the world this is considered a rare plant now my tree does bring a lot of uh, debris and trash that I will not have to like really go in and clean the plant maybe like with the toothbrush but what I do want to show and I think with aloes you don't really get to see them visually pop up a new leaf and grow but they do grow babies and I want to share with you the one baby that I see popping up on the bottom. The camera can pick it up there. And it looks pretty variegated to me. So I'm really excited about seeing a baby pop up from the mother plant because the original baby that came with it died from the rain. So it's nice to see a comeback. But let me know in the comments down below if you have a variegated aloe where you're from and is it a considered a rare or common plant because I definitely have not seen any variegated aloes in my part of California. I did see one in Arizona but other than that I really don't see variegated crocodile aloes or just variegated aloes in general so very fun one to have in the collection. This one lives in the front of my home. The theme of babies living in the front of my home. I want to share with you my coral aloe. I guess I have two aloes in this video. And this one was gifted to me by my plant friend Carrie, but I've never seen it bloom on me before. So I thought it'd be a very fun one to share for February Pot of Fame. And I love that a lot. So this is gonna be the first time blooming for me. Maybe it bloomed in the past and maybe I wasn't here to catch it. But look at how cute that is. I can't wait to see it. And it's living also in the front of my home as well. But that was just a very fun find of the day. When I was looking through the collection this morning to figure out who I was going to feature. I was so surprised to see this because I think when I went to Las Vegas and came back, this was not happening to my coral aloe. But other than that, it's doing really good. I uh, have not seen any real growth on this thing besides this bloom. So it is a slow growing plant but very fun with its pink coral tips. It's definitely a very interesting plant to have. Here's another one. Speaking of plant friends, this one was gifted to me from my plant friend Tanya which has not been on the channel for a minute but I do see her every week at the Pilates studio. But take a look at this. The babies have grown bigger. So that's a very fun update. And then look, a little baby on the top getting bigger. So this is... I want to say some kind of epiphylum. What exactly the correct ID is, I don't know. But she gifted this to me, I think, sometime last year. I have it in a terracotta planter. And it is doing really good. The babies are slowly growing into little arms. I love it a lot. I think when I originally got it from her, it was this small, perhaps. And now it's slowly making its way up. And I can't wait to see how this plant is going to take shape but definitely uh, very cute to see in front of so Here's a very fun update of my second string of dolphins and this was from my mother plant and for whatever reason my string of dolphins that is living in this plastic planter I want to say is doing a little bit better than my string of dolphins that is living in terracotta and maybe it has to do with it being in plastic and also being by my fountain in a shaded area hanging that these things probably took a play on how well this girl is. It'd be kind of interesting to see my original mother plant next to this, but take a look at it. It is such a giver. And the one that my subscriber gave to me is in my greenhouse doing good as well. So very satisfying plant to see all the little dolphins take shape. 
and it's just a very aesthetically pleasing plant. Uh, this plant now is more readily available. I know a few of my subscribers have purchased cuttings off of me. If you don't have the string of dolphins and interested and living in the U.S., uh, let me know in, um, in a direct message, Planting with Julian. I can definitely take some cuttings from this. And I think some of my plant friends have gotten cuttings from my mother plant as well. But very fun to see them pop up little dolphins. I think out of all of my Senecios, you know, even my variegated uh, string of pearls is doing really good as well. I have one in the greenhouse and one um, in my patio doing really good. So I have not had any problems as of recently with any of my Senecios. So very fun, aesthetically pleasing plant to have and just super cute. But I'm interested to see how long this is going to trail because right now it's almost touching the fountain. But I like seeing this as soon as I walk into my space hanging in that section. Now, there is another plant in the same type of planter. These planters I got from a plant seller that I actually got some Hoyas from in Alaska. And she had the Hoyas in here and I just reused it for different plants. I decided to convert it into Lekas because it was not happy living in soil for whatever reason. And this was like all I could save left from the plant. But ever since I put it in a semi-hydro setup, it's been loving life. And if you take a look really closely, you can see a lot of new growth popping up. And it's just so cute to see these nice little shiny leaves pulling through in each section of the plant. I will do another converting uh, house plants to Lekka. Uh, even my succulents do really well. So this is definitely going to need some water in here. But very uh, interesting to see that it likes living in a semi-hydro setup in Lekka versus soil. When I originally had the plant, maybe this was living in a different part of my patio. And now it's by my shaded area where my fountain is in this Lekka setup. It's just loving life. But very fun update to see this thing doing really good. And I'm glad I was at least able to save part of the plant. Dancing Bone Ripsalis. So my Dancing Bone Ripsalis is doing really good. I have featured this plant on my channel a handful of times. I'm a huge Ripsalis collector. But I just kind of wanted to at least share on the channel where it is right now. As you see, lots of new growth. And if you look really closely, there's lots of blooms about to pop up and I believe the blooms are orange. So this is one of my favorite characteristics of Ripsalis is that they're weird and interesting. And I love how they're all slightly different in shape and how they grow. But at the same time, they give you like the most cutest little blooms. And it's just such a special thing to see it kind of go through its different phases. That was a particular purchase from my Santa Monica plant nursery a few years back I think maybe one or two of my plant friends might have this but other than that I have not seen a dancing bone ripsalis like this one in particular and it's such a cool cool plant to have in my uh, ripsalis collective in fact all of my ripsalises are giving me a lot of new growth this time of year so it's very fun to see them popping up little tips and uh, starting to bloom off we'll see maybe when i do my next pot of fame in a month maybe it'll be fully bloomed out and i can share with you uh, the current status of this very interesting and fun plant. on to my bathroom plants i have my very rare for me philodendron maximum and this was a plant order that I got through the mail and finally it is giving me signs that it is happy so take a look at this it is a leaf that is slowly unfurling love that so much finally I'm hoping in the next few months I will see more new growth because I see some action happening here but yeah guys finally my philodendron maximum my rare baby is giving me signs of happiness here I was really stressing out because for a while it was not doing anything and um, it's nice to see that it's happy and this is by far my favorite thrifted planter that i have ever found and this one was purchased in arizona so i love seeing this give me signs of love same section i have my watermelon peperomia doing really good in a plastic planter this is my second purchase plant like this my original one came from las vegas a long time ago and it for whatever reason it wasn't happy and it died I finally got a repurchase one. This one was purchased from West Hollywood, but I wanted to share with you the update of all the little babies. If you look in this section here, this is like a very distinct characteristic of a Peperomia, how it grows babies. 
all on the bottom here and it's just fun to like peek on the bottom of the plant and see lots of new growth happening here so so cute right so this is doing really good in my bathroom guys and I always try to take off the old blooms because the rat tail blooms will come and go and they'll die off and they'll start looking sad in here so that's one thing I like to do for my peperomias is just go through the plant and take off any of the rat tail blooms that died off and this thing so happens to love my bathroom and the white plastic planter these plastic planters can be found on my Amazon store link is in my description box and these white plastic planters do wonders it great it's great for converting plants to leca and as well as for plants that don't like living in terracotta so this is like the perfect size for me and um, I'm glad that this thing is doing good because if this plant for whatever reason in the future does not do well with me will I ever repurchase this plant probably not in there this is considered a rare plant so not readily available but it's becoming more easier to get this plant now considered like a few years ago when I first got the plant I want to say four or five years ago it was considered rare let me know in the comments down below if you collect peperomias and do you have the watermelon peperomia and do you also consider this rare in your part of the world um, because here it's not a very common plant but if you search really really hard and really want this plant I'm sure you can come across it my staghorn fern I can't believe it I've never shared this staghorn fern in any other video besides my tour videos and when I first converted it into coco coir but I'm happy to report that is doing really good in this half basket which I actually painted white and if you look here it's pretty well established I can't believe it it is so cute it's definitely a different way of displaying and styling a staghorn fern I would like to see this on a wooden board and up on the wall and kind of just cascading down doing its thing but also this is also a fun look too it has a lot of room still in here and I like seeing this on my gate behind so let me know in the comments down below if you have a staghorn fern and how are you styling it it's pretty cool to get this as a baby and then see it grow on you and these guys get so so huge and especially when they start multiplying it just will like take over a wooden pillar or a trunk of a tree and it's so cool before I go ahead and wrap up today's video I have one last plant which I'm so excited to share in this month's pot of fame which actually will be maybe the second or third time ever blooming on me maybe this might be the second time I'm gonna bring it up Say hello to my epiphyllum hybrid now do you guys remember this thing gave off pink beautiful blooms and I told myself I wish I knew how to do resin art because I would love to save the blooms they're just really special and unique these will pop up very bright magenta blooms and a handful of them I think there must have been eight or so but take a look it's about to give me blooms and I can't wait to document it this time around so all these little ends that are sticking up will eventually get bigger over time and start popping off some really cool blooms so every single section of this the only downside to this plant was when I purchased it it was already beat up and I just I don't like what the nursery did to this plant there's better ways to take from a plant and I would have cut from way down here versus here and like all over in every single section I'll turn it even here so this is a very bad example of how to take from your plant but I bought it full price unfortunately I don't know why I did that but I still love the plant and it's still showing me love this will be the second time it has given me blooms so I can't wait to see this thing over the next two months I'm thinking maybe I'll finally see them popping through but I know when uh, I did leave out of town for Las Vegas I did miss a bunch of blooms these blooms only last for a day and then they're gone forever but this was very fun to come across this morning because I did not take notice until this morning when I was looking for plants to share in today's video that there's all signs of all of these blooms popping up so I'm really happy especially like after it bloomed the planter that it was in fell off of my plant stand cracked and I was lucky enough that the plant did not get ruined I just lost the pot but now it's in a heavier pot 
this one is super cute with butterflies so nothing will uh, as far as for heavy winds will be able to knock this planter down and have this plant go tumbling so that is going to wrap up today's pot of fame for the month of february all of the plants are doing great weather here in santa monica is warming up and I'm so excited to see more growth happening over the month of March. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these plants. Are they giving you growth this time of year? If not, what plants in your collection have been doing really well for you for the month of February, March? So that is going to wrap up my very fun monthly pot of fame where I highlight a handful of babies that are doing really good. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel Monday to Friday and the vlog channel Saturday and Sunday. You get a video each and every day. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.